Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. Welcome back to Hearts Farm 4s. We are playing with the United Kingdom. All right, so uh, before we get started here, we got a few maintenance things that we need to take care of, uh, and this is mainly with our units here. So I went ahead and added some of these uh, um, some of these colonial units here that we've gotten from our puppet. I added them into this army because I don't really want to use them in defense anyways, and I moved a few of these guys over towards Asia. Now, what else we're going to do? We are going to... Go ahead and take these guys here, and we're gonna turn them into regular infantry divisions, guys, into red coats, uh, because we need we need more troops, and these guys don't really do anything. We don't even need this many divisions over here. Uh, we're gonna put these guys into the training because we know that they're gonna need to train up. Uh, but yeah, they're not they're not even doing anything here. Uh, we don't even I think we need like six divisions right now uh, to cover the areas that we're protecting. Um, so and that's I think it's just in Africa. So yeah, there's really no reason to have that many divisions, and you know, they're not doing any work, so let's make them work. Alright, and the other things I wanted to go ahead and do here, guys, is we're going to go ahead and finally get the um, extra support units here. So we're going to go ahead and add support anti-tank, because clearly we do need them, and I don't want to add them into this here, because I don't want to lose that infantry unit, because that would bring our organization a bit lower than I want. And besides, like I said, we're going to be changing these up to 40 width divisions uh, soon. I think we're going to go ahead and get recon companies, guys, uh, just to kind of speed them up here. Uh, so they move a little bit faster. Let's go and change that up. That is going to mess with the uh, experience of all our units, but that is fine. We're also going to go ahead and change up Wavell's Wankers here. Uh, they're going to be getting some support artillery, get that soft attack up, and then the recon companies. Make sure they're nice and fast. All right, excellent. So we still have army experience left, but I don't think we have enough to change the whole entire division design up for these guys. Let me just take a look. Let's try this. All right, so we're going to duplicate. Um, we'll give them a name if we can do it. Uh, let me just make sure I can do this before before I go messing with this. All right, we're going to remove these here. We're going to change all this over to infantry. All right, excellent. Let's go. Oh, I'm not sure how many exactly we're going to need just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some artillery. Going to need plenty of artillery. Thus far, it's only 10 experience. I'm going to start ticking up soon, though. Uh, we're also going to get some anti-tanks here, guys. I want to get those anti-tanks, and I think we're going to do anti-air. I don't usually do anti-air. They are good as in an anti-tank role as well. Uh, however, we obviously don't have air superiority in most of these regions. Uh, Germany has an air force that is comparable to us. All right. Um, that means we can probably put three more infantry. All right. Excellent. So that was only 55 experience, and we've built them up. All right, yeah, I like this. This is going to work out nice, guys. The organization isn't quite as high as I would like. I'd prefer that to be a little bit higher um, overall. Yeah, 36 is, is not great. Um, but, yeah, if, if we had changed these anti-air up over to some infantry, the organization would be a lot higher. Um, but, yeah, I like having the anti-air in there for them to be protected. We're going to go ahead and, and, and name these guys. This is a name uh, based on one of your guys' suggestion. These guys are all powered up. They're powered up infantry, so they're going to be Austin-powered. Actually, before we save this, we need to give them a new logo here. Let's see, what do we want to give them? Something very British. Let's see if we can find something here. Oh, a crown. That would work. Um, or, yeah, this would work as well. Yeah, I like that. I like, actually, yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. I like that. All right, so let's go and save it. Looks good. Okay, so I believe we are done with our designs for right now. We could change up the Marines. Oh, that's right. We can't change them up because we don't uh, have enough space. You can see um, how many Special Forces guys you can get here. So we're currently fielding 36. Um, oh, okay. So that, that actually increased. Uh, so now we can get a few more. Uh, yeah, we currently got 36 Battalion Special Forces. We're allowed to have 48. It is 5% of your, max, your uh, total number of battalions. So as we build more units, that will increase. All right, guys, so uh, let's go ahead and get some more units building up. Uh, we don't have any tanks, so we're not going to build any Wave of Wankers. But what I do want to go ahead and do is start building a few of these guys up. Uh, we're just going to get a few. Uh, maybe, like, I don't know what all they're lacking. Oh, they're lacking anti-air. It'd probably be more efficient to change up some of our divisions to those. But all of our divisions are currently in battle. I guess we could change these four up. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to change those one up. We'll go ahead and build five of these. Uh, we are short on anti-air. I've already set that up to build since I knew we were going to do this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change these four divisions all over to, um, well, that's a lot. Instead, let's let's change up three of them. Yes, all right, we're going to change them up to Austin Powered. All right, excellent. So that'll work. Um, and we'll wait to change anybody over here in these areas since we're currently fighting. And, yeah, that, that will drastically impact their experience. Ready. All right, so I, I believe we are ready to go. Yes. All right, so those guys are going to need that experience. Um, uh, we want to go back. 
Uh, two here. All right, so remember, we're fighting in Greece over here. Last episode, we launched an offensive, and damn, man, why don't you guys come on over here where we're fucking losing? Yeah, why don't we bring some troops over here? Might be a little bit helpful. All right, looks like we got one division here coming. I don't know why we're pumping more over this way. Instead, why don't you guys come over here? Yeah, we need to, like, defend the area that we're... We're currently losing. We got a, a, a red 11 here. Well, I'm trick it over to green now. Once we get these infantry over here, it's going to be help, have, very helpful because these tanks don't really do all that well in the mountains. All right, excellent. Um, and then remember, we're going to be getting anti tanks pumping out to our units as well. How are we doing on anti tanks now? I'm sure we're going to need a lot more. Uh, yeah, we do. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do, what can we bring down a bit? Uh, we can bring down light self propelled artillery. Uh, I almost feel like we should bring down our planes just a little bit. We're building, we've got a shit ton of factories devoted towards these. So let's just go ahead and, yeah, 15 looks good, I think, towards the fighters. Because we're really starting to get the fighters out there now. Uh, and now we need, oh, where did all those go? I guess they all went into anti-tanks, because or into tanks, excuse me, because we really needed those tanks. All right, well, let's go ahead and pump into uh, anti-tanks a bit. There we go. Uh, any factories we get, we'll go towards them. I guess we can go ahead and pull from motorized as well, and then we'll just put another one there. Uh, and yeah, that looks good, guys. I think that will work out for right now. Uh, we did get our carrier focus, which is excellent. That'll give us a nice research bonus for that. Let's go ahead and get radar next, guys. Get that air experience, and most importantly, get the little bonus for radar technology, because I do want to start uh, researching those as they unlock. I think we're actually one behind right now. Getting really good experience. Uh, so these guys are holding out over here. It looks like we're also holding out in Spain. There's not really all that many troops over here. I mean, there is. There's a lot of troops uh, standing against us, but not as many as there once was. Um, yeah, we still don't have enough to really launch an offensive, though. All right, well, that's that's fine. Um, I believe these guys are going to need some training as well. Yeah, these are all these units are going to need training. All right, let's just go ahead and we'll leave the tank unit in here for right now. Let's take the rest of these units and put them into the training army. Uh, and currently, these guys here are saying that they don't need... Do they not have their manpower yet? I bet they don't. Alright, yeah, they don't need to have close to their manpower. I'm sure they're going to need to continue training. Uh, we've got a Lend-Lease offer from the British Raj. Uh, nah, we're going to decline. It's okay. Uh, so, uh, somebody had asked about getting Lend-Lease from the United States. I checked them. I asked for, like, every piece of equipment. They won't give us anything. They're being stingy. They don't want to give us a damn thing. It looks like... We are secured in Greece, guys. They had to stop launching their offensives. They they can't can't do anything here. Greece is uh, now being held. All right, awesome. We could probably actually launch our own offensive. I bet we could. I bet we could maybe push them out of there. I, I see a bunch of more troops coming over here, though. Yeah, they're pumping more troops over this way. All right, that's okay. We're entrenching up. I don't think they're going to break through here, guys. I kind of want to pull the Marines off. I think we are going to pull the Marines off. Yeah, it's fine if we lose territory here, guys, because um, we weren't planning on holding it anyways. I didn't think we'd be able to hold it, but I can't have the, the Marines over here right now. Uh, we've got other tasks for them. They need to get out of here. All right, so we're going to bring them over this way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull these three Marines out. And, uh, yeah, we're going to move them somewhere else. We're going to get them ready for naval invasions um, of locations. One, one thing we could do is launch a naval invasion... Uh, here, once they, if they push us back, launch a naval invasion behind them and try cutting off some of the divisions or whatever. That's an option, something we might be able to do. Uh, we got construction four, excellent. Do we need anything else? We do, we need excavation for it. This is the last one we need. We do have some political power to modify our government, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and get the last um, uh, design company here, and we will get, oh, we're going to get infantry equipment designer. All right, looking good, guys. Uh, we almost have enough air experience. I want to get 475. We're almost there. Uh, we'll be there momentarily. These guys are done training. Let's go ahead and put them. Oh, let's just put them into. How many do we? Yeah, we're gonna put these guys into this army. They can they can move over there to help us um, cover some of our areas. That'll give us 12 divisions up there. I think we only needed six, so we've we've got plenty. Um, I hate how this always rotates. Oh, okay, now it's going this way. All right, excellent. Do we have all our manpower for these guys? Oh, no. Yeah, they do. All right, so they don't need to be in that army anymore. So let's go ahead and pull them out. And, oops, my bad. You know what? They need to go into that army. That'll allow the tank to do a little bit of training. All right, excellent. Um, so things are looking pretty good, guys, um, for our armies right now. Um, manpower's really ticking down now, all those adjustments we made. Uh, but yeah, we're holding out in Spain. We're costing them an insane amount of casualties. This is how we're going to win the war, guys. Uh, let's just take a look at Germany. 
I'm currently working with that treaty, that treaty with the USSR. Uh, as far as manpower, they have around 300 something thousand manpower. Uh, they are currently at service by requirement already. So I mean, they still got a ton of manpower to work with, you know, once they change those, those conscription laws. But remember, they're gonna get a lot of negatives. Look at Italy. Uh, oh, they're only at extensive. All right, well, Italy's gonna need to use their next set of political power to uh, get more manpower. They're working on army primacy right now. Uh, we got improved artillery upgrades, awesome. Um, I think we should go ahead and go with anti-tanks next. Yeah, because we're starting to fall behind a bit on this. Let, let's go ahead and get the anti-tanks, and it's a nice 50% bonus, so why the fuck not? Let's get it. All right, so still holding out over here even without the uh, the Marines, so that's excellent. Um, what we're gonna do, um, we're just gonna move them out and move them over to North Africa, because I don't know where exactly we're gonna need them yet, if we'll need them in Spain or Greece, but it's fine. We're not gonna keep them in Greece. Uh, we'll just bring them over to here for right now, and we'll train them up once they get there. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and throw them into the training army now. Go ahead, guys, train up once you get there. Uh, we've got floating fortress. Excellent. We have another 50% bonus, so let's go ahead and make use of it. And I think we're gonna go with the floating airfield, get that carrier organization and the sort of efficiency for our carriers. Awesome. Uh, how, do we, how are we looking at over here for our fleet? All right, just two destroyers. Haven't built anything new just yet, uh, but I know that we need to get another carrier to this fleet here, um, or wherever the hell they're at. They're right here. I think they're currently repairing right now. Uh, they have two carriers. I'd like to give them a third one. Uh, I think that would be helpful for them. Uh, so we've got the Spanish that are launching naval invasions up over here. Uh, we are on the defense all across here, which is absolutely fine, guys. Uh, we do have the air power here, but like I said, the defense, this is where we kill them. Oh, damn. All right, that sucks. They must have pushed us back over here. You guys got to get over here. So, yeah, we are currently, like, we're not doing so well in Spain. I mean, we're holding out. We're probably causing them insane numbers of casualties. Look at that, 4.63 million. Uh, but it's uh, they're slowly pushing us back. This is the weak spot here, guys, because it's not mountains. Um, so, so yeah, that's a problem. Uh, we need to get the more troops. If we get any of these guys over here trained up, we might just send them over there. I really want to send them some good units, some of these Austin-powered units. I think that would be uh, incredibly helpful. And we have a lot of units that are, are currently training up as well that we'll be able to get deployed. Okay, so what we wanted to go ahead and do is use our uh, air experience here. We're going to use these on, I know our fighters are fully built out. Uh, we should probably use them on the heavy fighters. Yeah, let me just take a look at something real quick on when, when are we getting our, what do we, how are we doing our research? We've got all these researched, all right. So we're not gonna need new planes until 1944. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the uh, heavy support, or our heavy fighters, excuse me. We're gonna get those guys uh, just updated a little bit. Create a little variant, make them uh, a little bit more reliable for us. Um, get their range up as well. That was one thing I actually forgot to talk about. Uh, but now we're getting range up. It's probably not gonna be as big of a problem here. All right, so this looks good, guys. Yeah, I like this a lot. Let's go and save that and switch them up. Uh, we're gonna decommission those ones and change those guys up. All right, excellent. So one of the things I, I was uh, gonna mention here early on is the fact that our heavy fighters, also I, I deployed all the aces. I moved them over to like Greece. Uh, a lot of them over to Greece and Spain where we really need them. Uh, but if you look at our heavy fighters, they only cover about half of Eastern Germany here. So what I think we should do is switch up our bombing campaign over to Western Germany because they can cover just about all of that. Uh, and it doesn't it doesn't really matter as long as we're bombing somewhere. Uh, so let's go and bomb there uh, And where are these tactical bombers? Let's go and change them up as well uh, What are they currently at? Let me just see they're in Eastern Germany. So what are the other ones doing? Okay, so these ones here these tactical bombers here are covering the English Channel Okay, um, I think I'm accidentally assigned that because I really wanted them over there Because uh, they were doing a very good job bombing over there for us I think I accidentally moved them and it seems that we have some units standing by here as well uh, We have a heavy fighter unit here uh, currently not doing anything. You know what? We're gonna send them on over here All right, excellent. So uh, providing good coverage for our bombers now uh, much better than we did before You know we have you know better range there and it seems We're losing over here now as well well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we're just having massive difficulty holding these areas. Yeah, they just took Barcelona, guys. All right, that sucks. We just don't have enough divisions over here, I think. I think that's the, the main problem. Uh, what we need to do... These guys are coming over this way. All right, that's fine. Uh, I wonder if we can beat them. No, we can't. Damn it. All right, pull that back. Uh, what we'll do is have one of you guys retreat over here. They're already... Damn, they're about to get behind us. 
All right, that is really unfortunate. We need to get a tank unit over here. Come on, buddy, get over there. All right, um, so yeah, Spain is a little bit, there's some issues over there in Spain. Uh, but overall, we are holding out pretty well uh, against some overwhelming odds. Uh, we got Ace Pilot promoted, excellent. And these guys here are having some difficulty too, just a ton of fucking units attacking, that's why. Okay, uh, let me just take a look at how uh, everybody's doing. These Marines are looking good. Are all these guys still lacking experience? They are. All right, uh, how about uh, these units here? Yep, uh, tank units almost there though. Uh, let's just see if uh, the situation is still really bad. It is. Okay, what we'll do. Oh man, yeah, luckily there's a lot of troops there. We're gonna bring these ones over this way. Uh, where is that tank unit? Is it? Did he move over here already? Yes, he did. All right, very quick, nice. Okay, so we want to keep that tank unit on this side of things. We're going to bring this guy over here as well because, yeah, we're not holding out too well in that area. It is yellow now. There we go. Ticked over to green. Uh, and it's back to red. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to bring these units over here. Uh, and I don't know why they won't pri pri prioritize Excuse me, the coastline here. They're just not prior prioritizing it, the, uh, the AI. Um, I think that's why we keep losing it because every time they stop the attack then the AI moves my unit somewhere else Looks like we're probably gonna lose that. That's unfortunate, but it's it's a slow pushback guys um, Overall, we're holding out very well. I'm just gonna keep checking these here So make sure not train anybody that doesn't need to be trained. All right, so these guys are done What I think we're gonna go ahead and do is send them over to Spain We need more units over here guys um, We're currently only at 16 divisions. I'd like to get that up to a, a full 24 division army all right, uh, holding out over here. Excellent. So yeah, I think that's that's what would uh, be helpful is getting more and more troops out there. We sunk some more Italian ships there. Um, they just continue building up ships and letting us sink them. They've got one one ship now. We now have uh, some uh, civilian factories open. Excellent. Remember, we're building up our infrastructure here to get more resources. Well, might want to take a look at the resource situation. That way, we built those. Uh, do we want to get any more radar anywhere? Uh, we got it built out completely there. Uh, you can see we're not really covering the entire Mediterranean yet. We're not going to be able to cover over here. What we can do is build over here, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we don't really have anything to build there, unfortunately. Um, and this, yeah, just not enough of, I don't I don't see warranting building in Italian territory. No, we'll, we'll let these get, as they get bigger, um, they'll be able to cover more of an area. And, and that little blind spot there will we'll open up. It is fine. Uh, instead, I think we should focus on getting... Um, well, probably more military facts. You know what? Let's build up our dockyards just a little bit like maybe five more dockyards. I think um, We're gonna build let me just see here All right, we'll go there there and there and then we'll do some military factories here here Okay, excellent. We, oh, yes, that's right. We must got that tech Okay, excellent. So just get a ton more military factories And we're looking good. Um, so Another thing that was brought up was anti-air. We got that anti-air uh, national focus, so we don't really need anti-air anymore. I mean, it would probably be useful having them, you know, further deep in, but I think we're okay. I don't think we should waste the uh, production on it right now. Um, let's see how Spain is going. It's going good. We just got our uh, uh, anti-tanks here. We're not going to get the next level. Uh, there's too many things that we need to get right now. Uh, we really need to work on that atomic research, get that... Uh, research bonus and also just in preparation for this, but not yet. There's just too many things that need to be done guys uh, We're gonna be entering 1942 here So any other 1941 and 1940 text that we want we should probably go ahead and get so down here We have an option for our special forces where we can kind of it's basically a quality versus quantity type thing So we can get better special forces where their defense and organization is gonna be higher But they take longer to train or we can get the expanded special forces uh, where it's more quantity uh, we're going to have uh, more, um, so the training time will be quicker, and then the special forces capacity multiplier will be up. So we'll be able to have more special forces. So, yeah, that would actually be incredibly helpful. Both of these would be really good. I kind of, I'm always one that likes to go for quantity over quality, personally. So I think we'll probably go this direction. Um, I, don't, I don't know that we can justify it just yet, though. Um, I really want to get those mountain infantry, uh, because we're fighting in so many mountains. So... Let's go ahead and do that, guys. Let's get the mountain infantry. That would have been, if we had that had, had that by this point, 
I mean, that would have been really useful in Spain. It would have been incredibly useful in Greece. So yeah, let's go ahead and get them. Um, it seems, okay, I thought that was my uh, troops that are losing. Still holding out very well over here, costing them a lot of casualties. And we have outdated equipment as well, something we just got. That's right, we got the toad anti-tank. Uh, we need to upgrade those, that's fine. Um, but yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good guys um, Even even without the mountain troops except for Spain is starting to collapse. They they pumped a bunch of divisions over here That's what the problem is and we're slowly losing territory. Uh, this guy did not go anywhere All right. Well, what I want you to do is come on over here, buddy Yeah, but you can see now there's only two divisions here They 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 retreat and then rather like going than going back uh, They they go somewhere else And that's really where we need them at the moment all right, um, we still have good air coverage all across here, though, uh, I believe. Let me just see where how we're looking. I think we have some extra fighters. Let's see if there's anywhere where we might want to... Do we have any? We don't have any planes there. Uh, see if there's anywhere where we might want to send some more fighters. Let's just see where we're, we're lacking air superiority. All right, I'm sure we're losing a ton of tactical bombers over there with those fighters. Uh, let me just take a look at how many they have. Oh, okay, it's just bombers. I don't even have fighters. All right, that's fine. Um, it's not our plane. It's not our ships that are going through there. All right, we pretty much have air superiority in every region that we're fighting in right now. All right, excellent. Well, let's just take a look here. They don't even have any fighters here. Okay, uh, let's take a look in Greece and see how we're doing. Yeah, they don't really have any fighters in any of the areas uh, that we're currently in right now. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, they have a lot of bombers here though, so... What we're going to do is we're going to add some more fighters, and these ones are going to focus on shooting down bombers. Okay, let's grab these guys up, and we're going to put them on interception. Just shoot bombers down. All right, um, so looks like we lost there. Yeah, that's the way it seems. Okay. It looks like he could win there, though. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and allow him to keep fighting. I don't know why they're so weak there, but maybe we'll take it back. Yeah, it looks like we're going to take it back. All right, awesome. Anywhere where we can like gain back some of the territory we lost. Oh, look at how deep they are, but man, they are taking a massive amount of attrition. Um, let's just take a look at how they're looking. 5.44 million. We just looked at this. It was four point something. Wow. Germany, 3.74 million. We have done 1.2 million in casualties now. Um, the Italian For the Italians, we have done 534,000. Oh, wow. Um, we are doing really, really well. Uh, this is this is just bleeding the access, guys. Oh, damn, I didn't mean to click on that. Um, let me just take... They're working on colonial military factories in free France, if you're curious. Uh, so, yeah, they are back, They backed out to some manpower. Did they... Ch oh, they switched up. All right. So they, 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 they'll, that'll slowly start ticking up. Um, just taking a look at the Germans. They have no manpower now. <laughs> That's awesome. They're going to have to switch up. Uh, did they or no, they didn't switch up. They're just getting maybe they're still getting some Okay, this is still held out here. I don't know how a tank got over there. It's not really where I want my tanks They keep moving my fucking tanks man. I need the tanks in these other areas here Why don't you go back over there go over there and then you where's the weakest? Yeah, I guess that is the weakest location go ahead and go over there all right, we're probably not going to hold that out. Uh, there's just not enough uh, units there, and those Spanish divisions are looking pretty weak overall. Um, Navy experience is finally getting a point we might be able to do something with it. We got a submarine sunk there. Awesome. Uh, we need to look at our ships. I think our ships are getting outdated. Uh, might want to check that out um, soon. Maybe when we get another tech here. We got a ton of army experience. That's awesome. Okay, what do we need to adjust here? Uh, are the Yorks looking good? Yorks are looking excellent. Um... The peacekeepers. What we might want to do here, um, you know what? We don't. They don't need to have recon companies. We can get rid of that shit. Uh, but I'd prefer to switch it up for when we get the um, MPs. Yeah. All right. We should probably wait until we get the MPs. Then we need to research those. Uh, so let me just take a look and make sure that everybody is is good here. I believe they all are. I mean, I could see getting some field hospitals for these guys. That would probably be useful. Uh, and just. Uh, Taking a look at the uh, paratroopers. Uh, yeah, we need to build these guys out. All right, we got the experience, so let's go ahead and do it. Although, yeah, we, one thing we do need to consider is the size because, yeah, we're not going to be able to bring very many of these guys. Okay, um, let's instead focus on getting them some of the uh, support units. Engineer companies, what else we want to get? We want to get them support artillery. We know we want to get them that. We're going to get them anti-tanks as well, and then we're going to get them logistics. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's go and save that. 
Okay, so hopefully we're able to actually build these guys because with the uh, the six here, it's going to cause some issues. Any of these guys are done training. The tank unit currently is. Let's go ahead and throw him into this army here. Move out. Uh, what are these guys currently doing? We do have some of these guys that are done training now. Uh, these Marines are all done. Do they have all their manpower? Uh, it doesn't matter. We're going to go and pull them out anyway. We'll, we'll check on them later uh, when we actually need them. I want you guys to move. All right, so they're going to change up to that. Uh, let's take a look if, yeah, there is a few more divisions as well that currently are trained up here. Are both of them here? Yes, they are. So what we're going to do with these two is send them on over to Spain. We need more divisions over there. Uh, that currently puts us up to 18. Uh, so we need about six more, six more divisions. Okay, uh, let's take a look if there's any of these guys. No, they've got a, they got a while left uh, before they'll be done training. Okay. All right, but looking good. Um, let me just take a look here. Navy experience. Okay, I was thinking that was the air experience. We already spent that. We're at 99, though. Uh, so we... Yeah, we're ticking up very quickly in that. But Greece looking good. Okay, I think I think this is just what we're going to do. This is our strategy, guys. Our strategy is to sit in the mountains and let the Axis throw themselves against us until they run out of manpower. Uh, we are done over here for right now because we don't have any more bonuses. And I think we need ships. Yeah, we're at 1940. We do have a research bonus for carriers. Let's go and get those. 23 days, guys. All right, fantastico. So what I want to do is take a look at where the carrier's at right now. Okay, we're going to have to let him finish building. So let's just build one more carrier because we'll have that research here in just a couple weeks. All right, we are in December 1941, so we're going to be into 1942 very soon. Um, not going to be able to launch an offensive over here, I don't think. I mean, we can attempt. Let's... Well, we got radar now. Okay, let's... um. Let's pick something here first. We can't get this, because we have to get this one here. And that's a nice research bonus for, you know what, we should probably get that. I don't know why I haven't gotten that yet. Let's go ahead and grab that up. Uh, and then we're gonna, we're gonna attempt to launch an attack over here. See if we can win. Probably not gonna be able to, but we will attempt to. Uh, we will send two divisions, to just see how that looks. And then support with these two. It doesn't look like this is gonna be a victory. Nope. All right, just go back. Never mind. Clearly not going to work. Okay, we got our uh, infantry offensive. Excellent. Uh, still got a nice bonus down here if we wanted to continue down that. Uh, however, we're about to enter into 1942, so I think we should work on 1942 techs already. Uh, you know what? Actually, we don't want to get that because we got a research bonus for that coming up here. So we're going to wait to get that, and yeah, that'd probably be smart. We're already researching the air doctrine. Uh, I think what we'll go ahead and get, I mean, I suppose we can continue down that. Uh, let me just kind of see what else we have available for us. You know what? We're going to want to get light tanks as well. Uh, get the next light tanks and, and medium tanks. Uh, I want to get the MPs. Let's go ahead and do that, guys, so I can switch up that, that cavalry unit. We won't need as many of them. And you know what? We will go ahead and build a few cavalry units as well. Uh, we're going to build up, oh, I don't know. Let's say like um, five of them for right now. I think that'll probably be all that we need. And we'll go ahead and have them training just for the experience. Yeah, because we're going to want to make some adjustments to those new tanks that we get. All right, awesome. Create, like, a variant of them. And that'll allow us to pull even more of these out. Now that we're getting those, we'll go ahead and pull a couple more out now, actually. Just see where our infantry are at. We're going to go ahead and take this guy and put him into this army to train up because we're going to be changing him up. We can do it now. Uh, let's change him up to the red coats and throw him into the training army. Uh, and then let me just see if uh, how many we have over here. You know what, let's let's take one more of these guys and put him into the training army as well and get him switched over to our uh, redcoats. All right, excellent. So just getting more and more infantry units that we can we can deploy elsewhere. Uh, is anybody currently done here? Yes, we have one of them done. Just take a look at him. Okay, so he's going to be going to Spain. Come on, buddy. Get over there. All right, so he's coming on over to Spain. And, uh, yeah, this is, isn't looking too bad, guys. Um... Uh, you know, we, we still hold this province here, which we've we've lost multiple times, and I guess we keep taking it back. Uh, and, and yeah, it's it's not too bad. Uh, I wish I had something I could use that command power for. Just taking a look here, though, I'm just not... There's not really any options here that would be uh, useful at the moment. We don't really need to supply anybody with the air supply, which I believe also uh, takes... Uh, uh, command power. Yeah, the air supply is so awesome, guys. I really like it. Oh, one of the things I wanted to address, guys, um, kind of want to address it at the beginning of the episode because it keeps getting brought up, so I want people to be, uh, uh to hear this, um, but is the, um, the planes. Uh, you can assign, uh, you can now assign planes to units. So, let's say we wanted to get, like, an air wing here. 
we could take this air wing and then assign it to any one of these armies here that we wanted to. And then the AI would manage it for us, uh, which uh, is, is can be incredibly useful. Now, you, you'll notice that I haven't been using it. Uh, you may be like, why? And that's what everybody's saying. A lot of people think I don't don't know about it. So, and they're like, hey, uh, you know, you can you can do this. All right, these guys have their manpower, so let's go ahead and throw them into the tank unit or into the uh, the Spanish army here. They don't have all their equipment. Yeah, they're pretty short on equipment right now, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and throw them over here, anyways. We need to get some more units over there. Uh, but yeah, so so I am aware that you can you can do that now. Um, I used it a lot in my German campaign. But one thing I noticed, guys, is just like any time you put the AI in control of something, it's it's inefficient, guys. Uh, it's highly inefficient. Uh, the AI does all kind of weird things. Uh, first of all, they they overstack um, the, uh, the the air bases. Uh, they don't do it all the time. It's not extremely frequent, but they do do it, guys. It is a problem, um, and and that's obviously gives you it makes your your air wings highly inefficient so it's not something you want want to have happening uh but yeah they do do that we are losing all across this area now that sucks as we send them more divisions uh now we're losing territory they must be sending sending more troops over there as we are um but yeah they do overstack it but that's not the main problem the main problem guys is is that i notice they don't they don't put them in the right places all the time uh so for instance here in greece um well, let's say, I guess that's not a good example. Maybe in Spain is kind of a better example. Uh, if we looked at the um, the air, 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 air areas, I guess that's a hard thing to say here. We got our, our carriers. We're going to get that here in a second. So we have the Iberian Peninsula, the I Iberian region, I should say. Uh, and then we have Southern France, right? So let's say we were both defending here and attacking up towards Southern France. Well, then the, the AI knows that you want planes in, in both areas because you need planes to support the defenses here and you need planes over here to support the offenses. Well, they constantly move them back and forth, and it doesn't really seem like they do it very efficiently. Like, you'll have, like, one unit defending right here while the other three provinces are attacking, and all your air wings will be assigned to Iberia. Like, no, I, I want them in France. Like, that's where I'm attacking. I want them in France. And they just do a lot of inefficient shit. So what I've discovered is that it's only useful towards the late game when you're in, where you're having lots of different... Um, let me just get this real quick, guys. What do we we research that? Uh, let's see. What do I want to go and get here? We're gonna get. Uh, what do we need? I think we're I think we're done here actually. Well, we can get submarines. Uh, that's not really it's not really a priority though. No, I don't I don't think we should invest in that. We're we're so close to 1942. I think we should go ahead and start working on 1942 techs. Uh, let's go and get infantry equipment. Yeah, we're gonna get infantry uh, equipment, guys. Uh, but yeah, what I've noticed is like so when you're like when you're attacking into Russia. Uh, and it, it's just this massive issue when you're, you're constantly, you're attacking so quickly, you're moving so quickly that you got to always move your planes to the next, next region and it becomes a real pain. I guess we're losing over here now. I guess that's a thing. Okay. Whatever. Uh, that's not technically not Greek territory. Uh, that's hills by the way. Oh, these are hills as well. Okay. Um, yeah, we're losing there. Maybe we'll, we'll hold out. Um, and I think this is just the carriers. Yep. That's just the carriers. Uh, but yeah, like so, so that can be a real pain to constantly have to move your planes, and you'll miss it, especially if you're fighting in many areas. Let's say you're fighting in the Soviet Union, you're fighting in—I uh, don't know where else would you be fighting in Germany at that time? Hopefully, you've you've not done what the AI, AI does, and you've wrapped everything up before you attack the Soviet Union. I guess they're not attacking the Soviet Union. I'm talking shit about them, but they're doing pretty good. Uh, Stalin Constitution over here is what they're working on. Uh, but yeah, like let's say you're fighting over here as well, and over here. Um, yeah, then then you might be you know managing so many territories that you're not able to constantly move your planes with the offensives. I can see it. It's, it's useful in those cases, guys. Um, it's a little bit more efficient if you're if you're if you're going to be making the mistake, especially like in a let's play, for example, where you're not able to pay as well, good attention of it all. Um, yeah, I can see that being a, a useful way of using it. But otherwise, I prefer to uh, to control them myself. Um, yeah, it's just when it gets starts getting crazy that I think it's beneficial. Our war support is incredibly high, uh, which is excellent. Uh, and I think that's actually the end of the episode. We're now here in January of 1942, uh, doing pretty good. We are holding out in all these territories here. Uh, our two main defensive areas, Spain and Greece, are holding out. Uh, I bet we probably have a few units trained up. Nope, we don't. They're still training. Uh, we got a new unit uh, division design, I should say. Uh, we also 
you know, maxed out all of our support companies or support, support battalions for our, our uh, current division designs. So overall, looking pretty good, guys. Looking at the casualty situation. Oh, Germany. <laughs> 6.99 million losses. We've lost 4.15. Uh, and us, by the way, is lost, we've lost 213,000. That's, that's a lot of men. That's a lot of British soldiers that are no longer living. Certainly sad, but their sacrifice was... Uh, not in vain. Uh, you can see the the Germans here. We have we've done 1.9 million casualties. That's that's what we're responsible for. Uh, with the Italians, we're responsible for 716,000 of those casualties. Uh, so quite a bit, guys. They are both suffering um, a lot. Let's just take a look at their manpower. Zero here at service by requirement. Germany at service by requirement also at zero. Uh, they they can't even. There is probably still ticking up from changing those. Uh, how quick that ticks up, by the way, is based on your war support. That's the mobilization speed there. Um, and and I'm sure they're still ticking up. Uh, I wish, we, can we see their war support? We can, 66.9%, only 49% stability here. Uh, but yeah, war support's not incredibly high in Germany. Uh, Italy really supports the war though. Not very stable, but they yeah definitely support the war. All right guys, let's go and end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it as we mainly focus on defense here and just continue to build up and bomb the germans uh, we'll probably take a look at our stockpiles next episode and uh get all all these planes assigned i bet we have some yeah we have 473 fighters that can go out we've got another 234 strategic bombers that we can assign uh, 100 something more uh heavy fighters not really any tactical bombers they're taking a lot of casualties over here maybe we should assign those heavy fighters to support them there uh, because I think that's where they're they're uh, taking losses. I don't think the fighters can reach there. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, just taking a look at a regular fighter unit. See if he can reach over there. He actually could. We actually could assign a regular fighter unit. I guess that's where we'll assign them then. Uh, their range is starting to increase um, as we create variants of them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you go ahead and leave that like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. And thanks for watching.